Hey, welcome back to Bear Squared. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. In today's video, I'm gonna show you an amazing application. Okay, this is classroomscreen.com. And really what they say is, their tagline is, all the classroom tools at your fingertip. And it literally is all your classroom tools at your fingertip. And I'm gonna show you why, stick around. Let's jump straight into this one. Go to classroomscreen.com uh, and then go and click on the launch button. So here we go. Let's go and click on launch. The background you can change as you like and I'm gonna show you all the settings. Okay, we'll go from the right hand side to the left hand side. Well, that's my right going towards my left. I'm gonna show you all of these features that are available here and these are amazing. Now what I'm gonna show you as well, yeah, in conjunction, how would I use this for online learning or distance learning? I'm gonna show you. Basically, first and foremost, choose your application suite that you're gonna use for your video conferencing. So that might be Zoom, that might be uh, Google Me, it might be WebEx, Cisco WebEx, it might be Skype, whatever, yeah? So here I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna to go to Google, uh, Google Meet because that's what we're using, all right? Go to Google Meet. And go ahead and start your Google Meet, yeah? So start your Google Meet as you would, okay? Right here, um, start an instant meeting. Here we go, we're just gonna go to allow. I'm just gonna start the meeting here. We're gonna go to join that meeting. All right, so we're live here. We've I've started the meeting. Um, I don't really, whatever, does it doesn't make a difference. What I wanna do from here is I wanna go to present now and go ahead and present the entire screen. So when I do present the entire screen, I can go ahead and go to that web page um, that I have in order to present what I'm gonna find. So I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, present your entire screen. Once I've done that, uh, it's gonna present everything on the screen on the on the iPad and I will go to this application, okay, which is classroomscreen.com. So let's go ahead and check out all the uh, features available on this. Why is this the classroom tools at your fingertips? So first and foremost, you know when you're setting tasks for your students online, um, you know, we, we, we're usually working with digital planners. You know, you might have your your uh, digital planner on your phone. Students are going to be using, you know, the, the calendar app on their phone. They're going to be using something like this or something, a widget on their computer or the PC or Mac. What's good is when you're setting a task, okay, and you're saying, hey, guys, you know, uh, today's the 31st and you're going to have a deadline in two weeks' time or today's the 4th of uh, October, you're going to have a deadline... Uh, in three weeks time, they can visually see that. So it's a good reminder, it's a good tool to use as a sort of learning aid to show them, hey, look, that means you've got, you know, four days or 17 days or whatever. Now, unfortunately, this calendar widget is limited. You can't link, you can't link uh, your Google calendars or your Apple calendars or any of your work or schedule calendars to this. This is just a floating widget that shows you the current month. In fact, you can't even go to the next month. So it is limited in this application. But again, it does work as a visual aid. Anyway, let's get rid of that. Uh, the next thing is the clock. I'm not, there's nothing special about the clock. I don't really even want to talk about the clock, to be honest. I'm going to cut that out. Let's not waste time with this clock here. But what's really, really great and why I wanted to uh, talk about this application is the stop clock and the timer. Now, look at this. I can have multiple stop clocks. If I keep clicking on it, I can have multiple stop clocks. If I've got different groups, okay, um, that I've set the tasks, hey, questions one to three, I want uh, group A to do that and you're going to have you know, two minutes. Um, group two, you've got questions four and five, and I want you to start, you've got three minutes, so on and so forth. So you can set multiple timers here, okay, for your online learning. So students in different groups can now, you know, you've got different timers for them to do their work. Let's go ahead and pause that and get rid of these. Okay, so you can have multiple timers here. Uh, let's just go ahead and clear that one. What I find better than a stopwatch is the timer. So let's say I've got a question or let's say they're doing a reading comprehension and 10 minutes on a timer. You start this and then they've got a reading comprehension task, okay? And you want to give them the instructions, but because you've shared this screen, you want your instructions to be here as well. So you can go ahead and you can type your instructions here, okay? So follow the steps and whatever the, your reading comprehension, you know, uh, entails here, yeah? So you could do bullet points or you can do even do um, numbers, okay? So I can say step one, I want you to highlight uh, key findings, key findings. Number two, I want you to talk about feelings, emotions. Number three could be blah, 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 whatever. And what's great here with this little widget here, uh, you, you've got like text um, formatting tools as well. So here I've got like, uh, 
my bullet points I can have I can highlight this for example and I could make it you know I could change the background I could change the font color here okay uh, I could say emotions and I can change the font for that okay uh, for those math teachers out there chemists okay physics teachers you can add basic formulae so y equals uh, mx plus c it, it said max plus c whatever you get the point you can't add complicated formulae but you can add basic formulae you can do um, formatting highlighting you could do superscript or you know lower scripts or x squared for example i could highlight that and do squared okay i've got my x squared okay so find y when x squared or when x equals 14 or whatever so you've got your text here and you've got the running timer remember this is shared that you shared your screen on your google meet or your zoom or your cisco webex or whatever okay so this is brilliant for me most of the times i i want to use my apple pencil because i want to annotate i want to draw a question it's not very useful for me as a math teacher to write uh, instructions like this more my instructions are pretty much um based on drawings okay or annotations so here i've got an annotation tool i've got this drawing tool here like okay, i can make this larger as well okay let's clear that out so i've got this drawing tool and I could go ahead and do a question here or write an equation down. You know, I could say x squared plus 4x plus 6 equals 0. And I could say, you know, let's change the font here. I could say find solutions. Okay, find the solutions or find x. Okay, so I could give a, a, a sort of annotated text here. I could also do something more uh, integrated here with maybe some of the resources that I have already. So maybe I have a textbook or some uh, additional resources. I can go ahead and go to the media tab, okay? And I can upload a picture. So I'll go here and I can upload a picture. So there was a picture here somewhere. Where is it gone? Here's a, here's a question here that we were doing from a Kahoot. And I could take this picture and I can ask them to solve this problem here. So that's really awesome. I can use photos, maybe I've done a screenshot, okay, or a screen grab from a textbook. I wanna ask them that specific question. Uh, I could go ahead and do that. And I wanna show you something extra here, something brilliant. Remember we're sharing this screen using our video conferencing app, whatever it is, Google Meet or whatever. Okay, now check this out. So let's go to YouTube and I wanna go ahead and I wanna uh, find a, a video. I wanna share a video with uh, my students, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and click this. This is the video that I wanna share. Copy that. Let me just go ahead and pause it. Let me go back to this then. And then using that same media tab, let me just uh, click on this and get rid of it. Okay, using that same media tab, okay, I could go ahead and do a YouTube link. So let me go ahead and go ahead and paste, copy and paste that YouTube link. And look at this. I could make this uh, larger. Okay, like that. And now I could go ahead and play this. And while I'm playing it, let's get rid of some of these widgets here get rid of that uh, I want to get rid of uh, the text widget I'm going to keep this one because here what I can do is I, I can leave this to the side in fact we'll just clear it all out leave this to the side here okay and I'm going to resize it one second here we go I'm going to resize it like that and I can do annotations here while the students are watching this okay and I can pause it and ask them questions so for example if I play this one now so you can go ahead and drag the toggle, okay, wherever you want in the video. So let's say there, for example. So I could pause this here now. I could just go ahead and pause this, okay, and I could take that question. So I could say, okay, what is Pythagoras? Let's go and write here Pythagoras. Okay, and I can give them a question using this video. Remember, you're sharing this on your Google Meet. So here you've got your video, you've got your annotations. I'll show you something else, which is absolutely amazing. Because remember, we're working on an iPad here, yeah? Look what I can do. Go back to that media tab and go to webcam, okay? It's gonna allow you to start a webcam. Look at this. So not only am I playing a video and I'm annotating, the students can now see me. Remember, I'm using an iPad and now I've got my webcam, so I've got my camera. It, obviously, it's blown out and my face is looking orange or whatever. Um, but do you see the power of this? 
this is why the tagline is there. It's using all the tools of the classroom at your fingertips. Okay. And now how I haven't even finished. Let's get rid of that for a minute and I'll get rid of this video. Okay. Look at this. I've got a QR code here that students can scan from their phone. And let me go ahead and paste that. Um, that's the link to that video. Yeah. So students are seeing this on their screen. What they can do. So if I go ahead and grab my cell phone, uh, I can go ahead and just snap that QR code. Remember, this is from the screen that they're seeing. Okay. So if I snap that QR code, come on, where's it gone? And I'll browse that. It will take them straight to the link. I'll put the volume down here. Okay, it will take them straight to the link to whatever, um, you know, wherever you're sending them, whether it's a YouTube video, um, it's taking them straight to that real life Pythagoras. Okay, so they can watch that on their own devices and you can give them a timer. So let's, let's say, for example, you give them a timer. Um, how long is that video? That video is five minutes. So you give them, you know, like a six minute timer and they and then, you know, they're doing their work quietly the way they're watching the video quietly and you've got a timer up there and they've got that link through the QR code. So that's brilliant as well. Okay, that's brilliant. Now, let's say they are doing some silent work and you want to keep on talking. So what you can do then is you can use the work symbols. These are brilliant. Look at this. Yeah. So you've got a silent one. You've got whisper. You've got ask a neighbor and then you have work together. So I want like a silent one. Uh, and what I can do with this, if I click on these, uh, the cog, the settings, I can go ahead and make it transparent. So now you don't see the round circle. You just see this in the corner saying silent, be quiet. Yeah, people are working for five minutes. Now that might be distracting. You might actually want to have the color. You can have it red, white, yellow, whatever you want. Okay, let's, we can just resize that again. Another thing is you can change the background. Now you can change the background like a solid color like that. That is less distracting for everyone. Okay. Or you could actually, I had one up here and I liked it quite a lot. What was it? It was the bridge. It was this one here. I like this one. Um, it's just serene. It's calming, you know, it has a calming effect. So anyway, there's a lot more that you can explore. There's traffic lights. Traffic lights are brilliant. So I can say, guys, I'm going to leave this traffic light here. Okay. Uh, what it means is basically don't ask any questions. If it's on red, if it's on orange, I'm priming you. That means within two minutes, I am going to ask you, I'm going to open up question sessions. Okay. And then green is good to go. I'll start asking questions so that you can use traffic lights. Um, there's also a sound level. This is good for like in class. Okay. This is a good flight. If you're in class, you can do like sensitivity and then maximum noise. This is like a sound meter. Okay. You can even do an alarm here. That's not useful for online distance learning anyway. You've got other things like dice. So, Hey guys, I want a random number. Uh, if I put you in groups and number you off or whatever, uh, you can click on this random number generator. The best one by far though, is the random name selector. So let me show you this. Basically, if I write a couple of names here, Adam, Bradley or Brad, whatever, Charlie. Let's just get some names here. Okay. Uh, Dan, Emma. So I can just do a random name selector. So here's going to choose. Okay. So Bradley, you're up. I'm going to ask you a question. How do you solve this problem here? Is Pythagoras. You've got three and four. I want to find out what my C is going to be. Okay. Or I can go ahead and I can choose someone else. Okay. Can Charlie, can you, can you help out Bradley? What would you need to do in order to solve this problem? Yeah, you know, so on and so forth. And remember, you've got two minutes on the clock. If you haven't, you can go ahead and watch that video and you keep giving them instructions. At this point, you probably wouldn't want to change that to ask an Ava or work together. Okay, so all the uh, tools of the classroom at your fingertips. This is absolutely astonishing. There was one more thing that I want to show you here. The background, okay, you can actually change the whole background to be a webcam. So check this out. The whole background has become your webcam. So now you can be talking, having widgets all over your face while you're still recording this. Remember, this is your sharing on um, your Google Me or your Cisco WebEx or your Zoom application. Let's just go with a black background. Mind you, I like that. Let's bring that bridge back in. Okay, if you know what bridge that is, comment in the section below, you get some bonus points, yeah? Okie dokie, so that's a very quick review of classroomscreen.com. 
check it out for yourself. It's absolutely free. There is a pro version where you can save like your class lists and some of your parameters um, for your profile. Uh, otherwise, it's completely free to use. Consider subscribing. There's so many more videos that I've made. Uh, comment in the section below for anything that you might be looking forward to. Okay, uh, turn on notifications. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.